Wow. We have over 77% of the map explored. That's kind of crazy if you think about it. Hello everybody, Teddy Bear Boy here, and welcome to another episode of Castlevania Aria of Sorrow. Last time, we beat Legion after exploring the underground cemetery. Okay, this is new. That's definitely new. You, we have an Allure Une. Yeah, you were not here before. That's interesting. Nay. Yeah, none of those enemies were there before, actually. That's kind of neat. Okay, where Jaguar? Ow. Ow, what the heck? He just comboed me. Ow. Jerk? Okay, so now we gotta go up. Yeah, like I said in the last video, the underground cemetery is completely optional. It's not required for progression, but I greatly recommend it. Because it's kind of needed to explore the entire map. Yeah, I still have Skula equipped. Let's actually go back to Peeping Eye. And now, we go off to explore another new area. The Arena. Oh boy. We have new enemies all over the place. Beam skeletons. Killer mantles. Which, their soul is actually really useful. I'm gonna use a uh, few potions here. Beams. This is kind of where the areas become a little shorter, but they they just rake in the pain, you know. Like enemies are super difficult. Everything is pain. That's kind of the point of the game we're at. We also have more dead crusaders. Okay, let's... There we go, annihilate that killer mantle. Yeah, this entire area is also kinda... It's very linear, similar to the underground cemetery. Though the backgrounds here are beautiful, my lord. We have a Skull Million and a teleporter area. Okay, let's actually go back to the beginning, because <laughs> we need the heals, like, desperately. And we also need just more, more of basically everything healing. Oh, Soma. I wonder if Yoko will be all right. Do you know Yoko? Yes, she's been coming to my house since I was very young. But I'm an only child. She's, because I'm an only child, She's been like a big sister to me. My god, my my reading is terrible today. I see. Did Arikado bring her here? Yes, he did. Then I'm sure she's okay. He said not to worry about her. He was confident he could save her. That's why he brought her here. If you say that she'll be fine, I believe you. I know this is tough for you, but hang in there. Okay, leave it to me. Yoko, please don't die. 
Yeah. Hey, that woman back there. She okay? I don't know. She's been wounded pretty badly. Medicine I have won't help much. Hope she'll be alright. Yeah, me too. Know why I say that? Because she's my type. Well, I got a business to run. What would you like? I like how Soma just didn't even acknowledge that. Like, he's just like, ew, dude, chill. Yeah, honestly, I feel like we can buy all those. Oh. Oh, right, just more armor. Gold. Gold plate, interesting. That's a lot. The Soul Eater Ring. That's a lot of money. Yeah. This is kind of the point where things get stupid expensive in the store, too. Okay, now back to the arena we go, which isn't the boss rush area. This isn't a Kirby game, after all. <laughs> uh, I like Kirby. But it's still as painfully difficult. Yeah, getting behind beam skeletons is kind of the tech. Ow. Skull million. I feel like that's a mistranslation, honestly. Ow. Yeah. The gladiators suck. Easily some of the worst enemies in this entire area. Wear tigers, yeah. Whip knuckle, what? It allows you to throw whip like punches. Let's equip this. We can just punch. You know what? Let me just punch this killer mantle. I. That's a beautiful weapon just for the meme factor, but I'm never going to use that for any real purpose. There's an area we can't actually access yet. Here we have a few rooms, which, well... They're... Oh! The boss door! I did not expect to be at the end of this area so soon. But... Let's just see what these areas have. We have lubricants, which, that's definitely a mistranslation, okay? And I... I'm going to use my non-mistranslated healing potions. These statues will try to damage you by kicking and pushing you violently. Yeah, fun fact, these lubricants are actually like the final or final area enemies, so we're getting pretty late into the game at this point. Then again, I feel like we were already in the late game territory. And now, we see a... ...wall here that Peeping Eye is pointing out is breakable. You're gonna want to keep this way of breaking walls in mind for later, because it's gonna come back in glorious fashion. Okay, please. Please. Yeah, let's go. Oh. Pain. Orlox's suit. Or Ulrox's suit. Armored suit once worn by Orlox. Ulrox. Yeah, it pretty much upgrades all of my stats.
yeah, let me just, uh... Boom. Ow. Freaking statue of some weird deity, whatever. Okay. Boom. 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 Ow. Yeah, I really don't like this part of the... arena. It's definitely annoying to not take a lot of damage. Now, actually, I think the final area of this is the save room, so I'm gonna actually heal here. Nope, it's beam skeletons. Yeah, so we have to do a rhythm game now. Yeah. Though this area is really good for grinding EXP, I'll give it that. I need to heal again. You know what, let's just go back and do the rhythm game thing. Yeah, this platform basically... Okay. Okay, now, boom, boom, boom. Okay, now down. Okay. What's this one going to be? Up. Right. Down. Left. <laughs> I like how it just breaks that w Oh! Again. Uh, raring. Equip. Increases the appearance of rare items. I think we'll equip that at some point later, but... Definitely not right away. Hey! Do you like beam skeletons? I hope you do, because they're the only enemy you're going to actually be fighting for a bit. I'll be back as soon as I get through this part, probably. Yeah, so I just flew past all of them. Oh, nope. Nope, I'm not getting a save room there, which means that's a big no-no for me. If this is the save room, I'm gonna be mad. Oh, I am mad. Ah, uh, pain. Pain going through all of my guts right now. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we have Medusa stones. Or yellow Medusa heads and... And new enemies. Uh, it's just pain all around. It's generally what this part of the arena is. It's just trials of pain. Aranus. It's a harder version of the Valkyrie. Nothing we really haven't seen before. Just pain. An arc demon, as always, you know. Ah, uh, oh, you thought you could, but you can't. And we get Balmung. 
legendary sword of the dragon slayers it's oh i say we use this for a bit Okay, no, I need to heal again. Level up. Yeah, no, I am not bothering with any of this. I can't be afford I can't afford to die at this point. We're we're so far in. Wait, is that light elemental damage? Either way, we're about to go into the boss. You know the drill. Save. Then. Nah, it's not light elemental. I think I'm gonna actually switch back to the Ascalon. Okay, now boss battle. Yeah, we're going to have a bit of a longer video, but this will be worth it. The giant bear. Never mind. Yeah, meet Balor. This boss sucks, okay? I'm going to admit it. This boss is the only boss that I am actually afraid I might fully die on. He does a lot of damage. He, He's just pain, okay? Valor is pain. His attacks are wide. He's a big... He's a big boy, okay? Valor is a big boy. His attacks, they knock you back a lot. They're pain. Oh, wait, what? Oh, heck. Wait, I'm at his second phase already? Okay, this is his second phase. Uh. Okay, let's heal. Yeah, this is his second phase. Uh. Whoa. That went much smoother than I had anticipated. Uh, that was the cleanest Balor fight I've ever had. Packs a deadly punch. Let's let's show that off. That doesn't deal. That doesn't have a big range, but it makes up for it. Now, the giant bat soul transforming into the into a bat gives you the ability to fly. Yeah, we can just become a bat and fly. Ugh. Jay, what's wrong? You look pale. D don't worry. Just memories. All my memories came flooding back. What? Seems your dark power triggered the return of my memories. Just like I guessed, I have quite an extensive history with Dracula. I thought so. My real name is Julius Belmont. I am a descendant of the clan that has fought Dracula for ages. And the person who destroyed Dracula in 1999 was... Yes, it was me. But there were others who assisted me. So if Dracula was revived again, just as ri it's written in the prophecy, then I must destroy him. It's my destiny. You haven't met a man named Gram yet, have you? Gram? Oh, you mean that missionary, right? I met him a little while ago, but when he saw my face, he turned and ran. He told me that he was Dracula. I did sense Dracula's powers at work within him. But it's difficult to believe that he's Dracula. Rather, I think... No, forget it. It's nothing more than a hunch. Huh? 
assuming that he's Dracula, I won't be able to kill him yet. Why not? I need my weapon. Your weapon? Yes, it's a whip that's been handed down to me. It's called Vampire Killer. In 1999, I sealed it in this castle to weaken its his spirit and magical powers. That means it's in this castle somewhere. Yes. And I know exactly where it is. I'll go and get it now. Alright, please be careful. Pray that my hunch proves to be wrong. Farewell for now. Yeah. That's... That's definitely... Scary. You know what? Let's try using a... Let's use a mind up. You know what? Come on over here, Killer Mantle. Please. That's 400 damage. That's why Belor's soul is good. Anyways, this has been Teddy Bear Boy. I'll see you all next time. Yeah, this was a fun episode. Bye!